Hi, I'm Kevin Garrity. And I'm Zach Bartz. We're from the Shit Hall. And you're watching Improv Nerd with Jim Curran. Improv Nerd. Then how did, when was the first time you like performed together and you're like... It was what January of 2012. Yeah. Uh, so. we, we were in a, an improv competition and we needed a group and so we improvised with other two people and we really enjoyed playing together and yeah. like, well, let's just go ahead and try and do a two man sometime and... It um, was great. It got us just in a great like rep system because just like being a group thrown together for a competition, we were meeting up pretty much every day for at least two hours. And it was yeah, like it'd be like our lunch break work. between all of our classes. Kevin had dropped out of school by this time. Yeah, I did drop out. Because you both went to Columbia and you both dropped out of Columbia. No, oh, no, I graduated. Oh, you graduated? Okay. I for sure graduated. graduated. Okay, great. Yeah. Proud mom. Great. Pretty stoked mom. Yeah, yeah, proud, was... though. <laughs> you dropped out of Columbia. Yes. And then in your lunch break, you guys would rehearse together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we Later. would rehearse and uh, we would practice doing, doing short improv sets because that's what uh, the competition would let you do. And then... Uh, we were just like, the most stage time we can get is, you know, if we rely just on each other. So we'd say, hey, are you free to play a show? Let's go. We'll be Narnar Shredtown, because who cares what you're called? And we'll go out and we'll just keep playing, and we just yeah, just played as much as we could. And, and just had a great start from all the wonderful, like, bar prof scene and, like, Underground Lounge was, a like, where we would just mm -hmm. jam when Narnar was first, like, figuring out what our form was and what we were trying to do, and it was great. And having that kind of home, and that's kind of what we were... Take it, like shows like that and environments like that, trying to strip ideas from what we wanted out of a space. What do you like about playing with Zach, Kevin? Oh, uh, it just—it's nice having someone who can totally match the like levels and physicality, and is willing to go to like any anywhere you want to toss it, and then just knows his shit. Like he's so smart, and he uh, is always on top of it. It's great. Zach, what do you like about playing with Kevin? Kevin gives great compliments, and he's... <laughs> <laughs> no, I he's, already, Kevin, I already makes a great enchilada. He does, <laughs> really great cook. No, Kevin is uh, so supportive, and he will, he will make, he'll make these moves that I've never been able to like, do with anyone else on stage. Like, he, he'll trust me enough to just like, let me do a monologue as a character. Like, he'll just stay there. He won't, he won't come in as a new character. He won't try to like, not die if the scene calls for someone to die. Kevin will lay on stage for like four minutes <laughs> if it's the right thing to do. Like Kevin's a very selfless improviser, and and he's we have fun. Like our whole form and the whole basis of shithole has always just been like if we can't have fun here, we're never gonna have it. So let's have fun. Improv. Out in the woods, everything's appropriate. Yeah. Hop on back. We got six hands, and we need all of them. Okay. So I'm gonna put my hands on my back then. Okay. Oh. You wanna get you wanna get his quad? I'll get his quad, there sure go. there. Yeah, quad me All out. Right. There you go. You got a knot in there. Yeah. You got a knot, Nate. I've been carrying your nail, Gene. Yeah. Uh. You got you got some wife stress here. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. What kind of stress you got up there? I fucking love her so much. Yeah. Huh? I just love her so much it hurts. Yeah. 